Hello, this is Vampire, and for today's video, I want to continue on what we did yesterday. One of the things we did yesterday was the recovery technique. And the main question here is recovery from what? In a real life scenario, if you could end the threat with quick strikes, that's fantastic, all right? Chances are, though, things are gonna get really ugly. You're gonna have to use a lot of brute force and you're gonna have to use a lot of power, basically, okay? Because power commands respect. Power can end the threat. Power can finish the fight, all right? So in that case, what I want you guys to do is go ahead, grab your stick, and what we're gonna do is this diagonal strike. It's called the number one in a lot of the systems in Filipino martial arts. It's just this, all right? This diagonal strike right here. One of the reasons to go diagonal instead of perfectly vertical and horizontal is because the brain a lot of times is kind of used to vertical and horizontal. So if it's coming straight down, we just kind of move out of the way. Just kind of move out of the way. If it's coming horizontal, you just kind of block it or you can catch it. You can. It's not too bad. It comes diagonal. It's like right in between the two. The brain gets sometimes can get a little bit confused. So diagonal is kind of a, a good one to go for. Okay, so. In that case, let's do the diagonal strike like this, and if you put in power, like I said, put a lot of strength into it, you should end up like this, like a baseball player, okay? And if you see this, I'm almost turning my back to you, okay? So practice this. Swing it a couple times, and you see that? Your arm should naturally come here, and it should be like this, okay? If not, then you're probably not putting enough power or your form is not good, okay? So make sure you got a lot of space. Practice this a couple of times. Switch hands, okay? Do like 10, 10 times each. Make sure the stick doesn't fly out of your hand. That's part of the program. That's part of the exercise. Make sure you got a good grip. Don't hurt anyone. Don't break anything, okay? But go outside and, and try that. It's a good exercise. Okay, now the thing is, even a beginner, even someone who's never trained, knows that after they make a powerful swing like that, they're vulnerable. They don't like it. So the response is something like this. People do that. That's going to wear you down really fast. It's not efficient, okay? It's going to rely on a lot of athleticism. So something a little bit more finesse is the recovery technique, all right? So we're recovering from this major powerful swing from this follow through. Okay, so we're basically changing the follow through, follow through by redirecting it. So instead of just going here, and then now I have to come back like this, all right, I'm gonna go like this, all right? Just like that. So I can swing really hard, and it takes me back to here, neutral position where now, you know, I have a lot of different options to do from here. So if I come all the way like this, now I'm committed, I pretty much have to do something like this, and now it's back to this kind of tactic, right? So if I come here, see, I can do other stuff. Now, not so much with a stick, but with a blade, once you swing and you do the recovery, the recovery motion in itself, the redirection of energy, that spinning stuff that you see right there is an attack in itself with the blade. Not so much with the stick, you still can. So as I'm going like this, I could, at this turning motion, I could use defensively, all right? So as this comes in, boom, I could use it defensively if I want to, but the main thing is it takes me back to here. So then I could go back to my rhythm, go back to my pace, okay? Now, uh, what I wanna do today, because this is the same technique that we did yesterday, boom, is remember, we're coming down here, diagonal strike all the way, so do the follow through up to here, and now we're gonna, the stick goes this way, towards, from the top, towards, okay, and then draw. By draw, I mean you're pulling your weapon back. My body doesn't really move. I could move, all right, which is fine, but the main idea is to draw the weapon and that's the, the slicing motion for a deep cut. So once again, put it together. One, two, one, two. So now we're gonna change angles, okay? So that was from here. Now we're gonna go from the bottom down here, okay? So it's like a uppercut motion. 
And as you do this, see, look at that. It's a big swing. It's a really big swing. It reminds me of like a tennis, like you're playing tennis. Very strong uppercut strike. So as I, as I do it, see, it turns my body and the stick naturally parks here. Okay, so from here, recovery. Same idea. Bring the stick all the way to here. And now we're going to bring, once again, forward motion circular and then draw. Same idea. Okay, so from the bottom here goes circle, draw. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And it takes me back to this neutral position. 